Good morning, I'm Ken Karklin. I'm the CEO at Opener Aero. We're here at Oshkosh 2022, uh, where we've been up and flying with the Black Fly already twice. Uh, gonna be back in the ultralight area this evening and back out to the main uh, runway on Saturday. So the Black Fly is, is, is truly unique uh, in its configuration. It's, it's, it's a derived biplane with uh, eight motors, um, individual battery packs for all the motors, triple redundant modular flight controls, each with its own independent IMS, its own independent uh, pitot tube uh, uh, airspeed sensors, its own independent GPS. Uh, everything is redundant. If you were to lose a motor in flight, uh, the polar opposite motor would simply turn off. You maintain a gyroscopic balance and you can safely continue your flight, uh, go into hover and land safely. Um, the elevons, the flight control surfaces on all the wings, are themselves redundant. Uh, the power supply uh, for the elevons on each flight control surface has its own native backup battery uh, solution. Um, and at last, there's, there is a full aircraft uh, parachute, full aircraft ballistic parachute, uh, which can be deployed uh, at the pull of a, uh, a big red knob in the cockpit, um, should all else fail. But it has been designed from the ground up and iterated upon for years, uh, really with safety as the number one goal uh, to create accessibility in the Part 103 category uh, for non-pilots so they can join the world of personal aviation. We're really, really excited to have Class 5 with us here today. We're going to give them just a second. They're troubleshooting some uh, avionics and equipment inside the aircraft. You all are uh, aircraft operators and uh, know how that goes, so the appropriate technical folks are there beside the aircraft helping the pilot in the cockpit tonight. Mr. Caleb Goldstein, he's prepped and uh, ready to go. I was talking to him earlier this afternoon and uh, he was describing what the uh, flight profile is going to be. It's going to be very, very exciting. If you're like me, you've probably only seen this aircraft on video, and uh, it's going to be something to see up close and personal. Off up here tonight, that's just because I, had, I ran out of fingers and I had to count the birds from the meters to do. There we go! This is Caleb Goldstein and the Black Fly. My name is Wyatt Warner. I work for Opener Aero as a flight test engineer. I've had a lifelong interest in anything that flies. As a kid, I'd always be looking up at aircraft in the sky. I got into remote control flying uh, at a pretty young age, and that interest carried through or with me all the way through college. I went to UMass Amherst for mechanical engineering. When I graduated college, I started looking around for jobs in the aerospace industry. I had interned at both Rolls-Royce and Pratt and & Whitney, and those gave me great insight into the aerospace industry, but I knew I also wanted to work at a smaller and more agile company. Opener caught my eye as somebody working on uh, an amazing aircraft project and also a, a really fast moving company that had a quick development cycle. When I joined the company two years ago, uh, one of my first projects was working on documentation for remote piloting of the aircraft, working on an uh, instructor guide for how to fly the aircraft from the ground. I moved up into a lot of remote piloting of this vehicle. I've racked up about 50 hours on the joystick station, flying all different sorts of tests from the ground, ensuring that this vehicle is safe and reliable. Throughout all of these hours of remote piloting, I would constantly be looking up at the vehicle, wondering 
what it would be like to actually fly in this amazing machine. It really seemed like a pie in the sky dream, even though I was sitting there watching it fly. So um, I had the privilege of about a month ago starting to actually human fly this and getting to see what's you know, actually like in the vehicle, controlling it and watching the world below me. So I had a unique leg up uh, for human flight because I had all of these hours on the vehicle. Uh, but some of the op other operators we trained up, like my colleague Caleb who flew on Tuesday in the Twilight Flight Fest, didn't have that background. So we have a VR simulator uh, with a articulating chair to match the pitch of the vehicle. And this is a really a one-to-one -one experience with flying the vehicle. It's an amazing training tool. And with even 10, 15 hours of training, we've seen that our pilots can step into the vehicle and competently operate it. Um, my first flight, I thought it lasted about 15 seconds. I've told later it was a two minute long flight, but it was over in such a flash. I, I landed and had the biggest smile on my face. Just to, the one thing the simulator doesn't catch uh, or capture is the acceleration you feel when you take off. It really leaps into the air and you feel pressed into your seat. And watching the ground actually recede away from you was just the most magical feeling. It was like something you dream of. Um, so I was absolutely hooked. Big push in the, the company's phase right now is starting to rack up human hours and ga uh, gather information on the operator experience. So myself and our two other current trained operators are really dedicated as far as racking up human flight time and demonstrating this vehicle with a human in it. After we you know, got comfortable flying this vehicle, our next target was being able to demonstrate this vehicle in the Oshkosh Air Show. So we started designing a flight pan that could demonstrate what this vehicle is capable of. We practiced the flight plan in sim uh, using our sim chair and then we would uh, mapped out waypoints at our remote test site to be able to fly the same flight plan using our runway landmarks. So when I got in the air over with a crowd of 100,000 people watching me, I'd know exactly what I was doing and be sure I could execute the flight. So I've never flown at an air show before. I've never flown in front of more than just our small test crew. So I had a lot of nerves when I walked out on the flight line and saw the crowd of you know, thousands and thousands of people looking out at this vehicle and, and me walking next to it. My stomach was definitely dropped and my heart was beating pretty fast, but I trusted my training and, and knew I could execute the flight as long as I was in the air. It was such an amazing experience. As soon as I got off the ground and took a look around, I knew I was doing it. Uh, the landmarks looked exactly like I had practiced with in the simulator. So I knew I had the flight and I just looked off in the sunset in the crowd and started smiling. It was just beautiful to be uh, as part of this amazing show.